So today we're talking about the September Nintendo Direct again, how the multiplayer beta for Halo was almost delayed, and if you can expect another Titanfall anytime soon. My name is Devontae Chisholm and you're watching GameSpot News. First off, let's start with what leaked before the show. Instead of outside sources releasing information about today's announcements early, the leak came from Nintendo itself with the company's Japanese release schedule site listing a new Kirby game along with other long-awaited titles, including Bayonetta 3. During the actual show, we learned that both of those announcements were real, with Kirby coming in spring 2022 and Bayonetta coming sometime next year as well. Towards the middle of the show, we learned that the final Smash Bros character reveal is getting its own direct on October 5th at 7am PT, 10am ET. After that, Nintendo revealed an expansion pack for Nintendo Switch Online that includes N64 and Sega Genesis games and controllers to go along with it. The price of the controllers were said to be $50, but the price of the new online expansion was not revealed. The service will launch later this year with a selection of solid games and more to come down the line. Later on, we got to see the cast of the new animated Mario feature film for the first time. This lineup includes Chris Pratt as Mario, Anya Taylor-Joy as Peach, Charlie Day as Luigi, Jack Black as Bowser, Keegan-Michael Key as Toad, and Seth Rogen as Donkey Kong. Moving right along to some Halo news. On September 22nd, 343 Industries discovered some late breaking issues with the Halo Infinite multiplayer and the studio nearly delayed the upcoming beta. During the Halo Infinite multiplayer livestream on Wednesday, 343's Brian Jarrett said that there might be a small shift in the schedule for Halo's next multiplayer beta. Luckily, the plan to launch the beta client Thursday, September 23rd seems to still be in effect. 343 Industries even posted a new blog of beta details, and Brian tweeted the post and said, quote, we are preparing for takeoff. So have you gotten your email yet? Let me know in the comments. And before we continue, let's talk about refrigerators because Aaron Greenberg, who is in charge of Xbox games marketing, said that more information about the Xbox Series X mini fridge will be revealed next month. If you didn't know, this all started when Greenberg promised that if Xbox won Twitter's best of tweets brand bracket back in April, then Xbox would go ahead and make the fridges. Well, Xbox just barely beat out Skittles in the contest by 1%, and thus Greenberg made good on his promise. It's weird to me that I don't want an Xbox Series X, but I really want this fridge. Like, I just picture it, like right where you are, like just over a tiny bit, like I feel like it would look good right there. Anyway. Moving on to some Titanfall news. Yesterday, news outlets picked up a comment from Respawn Community Coordinator, Jason Garza, who said that the company was working on too many games to focus on Titanfall right now. When asked by fans about the possibility of a new Titanfall, he said, quote, there's nothing, there's nothing there. However, Garza did say that Respawn was working on the DDoS attacks plaguing Titanfall 1 and 2. After the story was picked up by numerous gaming news outlets, Respawn issued an official statement on Twitter and said, quote, Contrary to what some folks are reporting, Titanfall is the very core of our DNA. Who knows what the future holds? Do we really need a Titanfall 3? Obviously the answer is yes, I really want a Titanfall 3, but I'm curious what you think. So let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, if you watched the Nintendo Direct, let me know what your favorite announcement was. And I'll see you tomorrow.